Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today we're going to look at a whole bunch of emblems. Uh, I wish I could say that this is going to be all the emblems in the game. Uh, sadly, even my Magneto character doesn't have all the emblems. And uh, even if he had all the hero emblems, he would still be missing uh, the villain emblems. But there's also there's probably a few emblems that you can get in, in some uh, races that I don't have. I might still be missing a few emblems that you can get from collections, although um, I think I have pretty much all of those uh, covered. At some point, I had all the collections in the game. So, but there, there still could be one that I'm missing uh, that I'm, I can't recall. But obviously, some of the emblems that I'm missing are actually from time capsules. Uh, there's some uh, god emblems that I'm still missing from the Amazon time capsules. And there's some zodiac emblems that I'm missing from the Aquarian time capsules. So I'm still missing quite a few emblems. And even worse, if you count uh, all the enhanced emblems that you can create uh, from some of those emblems. I created uh, quite a few, but I, I still, uh, I'm still missing quite a few of the enhanced emblems. Uh, I still need to, to craft uh, quite a few, even of those that I already have. And obviously those that are missing, uh, I'm going to have to craft those emblems as well. So I, I'm still missing uh, quite a few emblems. I was hoping to do a Zodiac uh, video at some point, but I, I'm still missing too many emblems to be able to do that. And the same is true with the, the God emblems. There's like 12 uh, God emblems and 12 Zodiac emblems. So that's a lot of emblems to try to gather. And uh, the rarer ones are can be a bit pricey sometimes, although they're not that pricey in the sense that they're not $50 million. So it's like, I don't know, $4 million maybe. But uh, four million dollars is too much in my book for for just a, a zodiac emblem. In the long run, odds are I will probably have all the emblems at some point, but it, it will still take uh, some time. And also, uh, the, for a while, they kept on coming up with either new emblems or new stuff uh, to to to, co to gather to collect. So I was a little busy sometimes uh, getting the new stuff that I didn't really have the time to backtrack and go get some of the previous emblems that I didn't have just yet. Also, I was using uh, at some point a lot of my uh, game cash to purchase uh, either to purchase uh, materials or to purchase the collections I needed for certain materials. But as time goes by, uh, a lot of those emblems it gets added. And nowadays we get emblem that uh, we can use for certain characters that we didn't have before. Like we have uh, some fairly nice uh, emblems like the uh, Firestorm emblem. Or even you saw the Dr. Midnight emblem. And the, the fun thing is that some, some of those emblems, like the Dr. Midnight, can actually be used also to create uh, a Moon Knight character. Like previously with Moon Knight, we had to settle with the Moon Emblem, but now the Doctor Midnight is actually even closer to the actual uh, Moon Knight Emblem. So there's there, there's a few emblems that we have now that will allow us to customize our characters a bit more. I just wish that at some point they actually add uh, more, uh, either more Batman Emblem or more Superman Emblem or just more iconic emblems from for, for the more popular characters like i wish at some point they would add uh, maybe a batman emblem pack where you would have a whole bunch of different batman emblems but also emblems from uh, let's say maybe robin uh, maybe emblems from uh, who else has emblems in that group i was about to say nightwing but nightwing doesn't really have an emblem uh, it's more like uh, the the his chest piece and we already have the, the nightwing chest piece so but you get the idea, like a, a Batman emblem pack that would have uh, various Batman emblems or Batman related emblems. Uh, the same for Superman, maybe, like we could have a Superman emblem pack with uh, either various Superman emblems, like we, got, we could have the classic Superman emblem, we could have uh, the Superman emblem from Kingdom Come, uh, the Superman emblem from uh, Superman Red Sun, but also we could have uh, not quite Superman emblem, but Superman related emblems, like a Bizarro Superman emblem, or even a Zod emblem. So uh, again, it could be emblem, not necessarily Superman emblem, but Superman related emblems. I suspect that at some point in time, we will have a, a Superman emblem and some sort of time capsule. I just have no idea what the, the theme of that time capsule uh, could actually be. 
uh, would it be just like a Superman theme time capsule with a whole bunch of Superman emblems or would they go more for a Justice League uh, time capsule with various emblems for the various Justice League members I guess we're gonna have to wait and see uh, but I, I'm pretty certain that uh, at some point in time we will have a Superman emblem and we will have a Batman emblem and we got a Wonder Woman emblem a couple of times already so my guess is it, it's just a matter of time uh, before before we actually get some uh, some nicer emblems for the, the, the main uh, iconic uh, DC characters. I understand that the, the DC uh, Universe Online developers don't really want us to actually be able to recreate an exact copy of Batman or of Superman or any of the iconic characters, but this seems to be uh, they seem to have changed their their stance on that. Uh, seeing how they gave us the Batman call and seeing how they did give us uh, various emblems. Although whatever they gave us still doesn't allow us to recreate an exact uh, replica of Batman or Flash or Superman or but it it we we can get a lot closer than we ever could. I doubt we will ever be able to recreate an exact copy of uh, the Batman character that we have in this universe online, but we we can already recreate a fairly good uh, version of Batman, so that uh, that's good enough in my book. Uh, sadly, a lot of you guys uh, seems to have missed uh, on when they released the Batman, well, the Batman vs Superman uh, emblem pack. So a lot of you guys do not have access to the Superman emblem or the Batman emblem or the Wonder Woman emblem. But again, I'm pretty sure that at some point in time they will add those to, to some time capsules. So I would suggest uh, just be patient and in the meantime I use the closest approximation you can get. So there, there's a few, a few emblems you can sort of use to recreate Superman I think. Uh, like here we can see the the leaf emblem which was used uh, by people long before we had the flash emblem so whenever people would create the flash at the time they would use uh, the leaf emblem personally I, would use, I was using uh, the lightning emblems we just saw but some people would actually use the leaf emblem to recreate the flash and it from afar the illusion was was good enough I suppose uh, for the Batman there's a few emblems that people are using uh, I think the demon head would be one of those Personally, I was using uh, a circled wing, which was giving me somewhat of a Batman uh, with the yellow moon, uh, the, a Batman emblem with the yellow moon behind it. And for Superman, uh, there wasn't that many good options. Uh, you can either go with uh, the letter S, or there was the shield emblem also, which kind of sort of did the trick. Uh, I know there are some people who, who use the Cobra emblem to emul emulate the uh, the Superman emblem. Well, not too crazy about using the Cobra emblem, I have to admit. But maybe it's just me. Although one emblem that I used a lot uh, was the Justice League emblem. As soon as my a lot of my characters, as soon as they would reach uh, level 30, the the Justice League emblem pretty much became their default emblem. Uh, for a long time, my Flash character was using the Justice League emblem. So was my Superman character. Uh, for Batman, as I mentioned, I was using the Circled Wing emblem. Um, I mean, I've used the, the Justice, Justice League emblem with Batman for a bit. It's been a while. Uh, and once in a while, I would use some of the other emblems if it kind of worked with the theme of my, my character. At some point I had a character called uh, the Prometheum Knight. Like this year, uh, this year is an emblem that people use for Batman. So for quite a while I had a character called the Prometheum Knight and obviously I was using the Knight uh, emblem which wasn't bad but is, it wasn't quite what I wanted. At some point I tried to mix ma mix and match that emblem with uh, some of the, uh, the checkmate gear and it kind of sort of worked. I wish we could have had an, the actual checkmate emblem, uh, but what can what can you do? Maybe that will be added uh, in a future time capsule. You never know. And we had created a, a group more or less uh, themed around the chess pieces. So one would use the rook emblem. One you what we one would use the the, the pawn emblem. Uh, one one would use the king emblem. So each each, uh, each character was using a. a uh, a chess piece themed emblem, but that that pretty much uh, fell apart when sadly all my friends left. So 
So I guess I should try and complete uh, either the Zodiac Emblem or the, the God's Emblem. I guess I'm going to have to uh, to play the Broker in order to be able to do that. I'm, I should probably make a video also about playing the Broker. Like this is the Shield Emblem that you can sort of kind of use to fake Superman a bit. Although it, it looks nothing like uh, the, uh, the Superman Emblem other than the Shield uh, shape maybe. And of course, there's the various uh, uh, lantern, le lantern emblems, which kind of work uh, if you create a lantern uh, themed character. A skull emblem, obviously, is perfect if you want to recreate a Punisher. The star, if you want to create Captain America or Booster Gold, perfect. Again, here, one more lantern emblem, which uh, allows us to finally recreate a, a male uh, Star Sapphire if we want to. Although there was an option before that that allowed that, but people didn't really like it. The Sun Emblem obviously is perfect to recreate the Sun Boy from the Legion of Superheroes. Again, you can see the Superman Emblem. Sadly, uh, it's not available anymore. Sorry, guys. Uh, this one I used for a bit for my Green Lantern character. I called it the Green Wildfire at the time, and uh, the fire, the swirling fire kind of worked uh, with the look uh, I had given my character at the time. Uh, this, sadly, I'm not using with my Hawkman character. Uh, I'm actually using the Red Lantern emblem, or no, en no emblem at all, uh, depending on the look of the, of the character. This, I think, I was using for a while for my Vision character. If I ever create a Namor character, I will probably use uh, this emblem. This is perfect for either a Blue Beetle or e even a Spider-Man. It, it kind of works well to recreate the Spider-Man emblem. Ultraman, of course. Who else? I'm not sure who has a V emblem or a 5. I guess that could count as a Roman numeral 5. Here for a Vixen type character, that, that will work. Not sure which character I would create that will use the Wintech emblem, but I guess that would be possible. The White Lantern emblem, uh, that's a, a good one too. The Winged emblem could kind of work also to to recreate the Batman. Again, it doesn't really look like the Batman emblem, but again, it, it's as close as you can get sometimes. This one, I'm not sure what character I would use with use it with. Of course, this is one of the Wonder Woman emblem that we have. Uh, this one was the one given for free during the uh, 50, the 75th year anniversary, and this is the one from the Batman vs Superman uh, pack. Again, another uh, BVS uh, emblem. I think we're gonna have a few in a row. Yeah, the BVS Superman emblem, the Warren uh, Warner Woman emblem. Basically, the three one we just saw were color are color locked red and uh, are a bit worn off. And we're pretty much reaching the end uh, of our emblems. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye-bye.